for the past few weeks, Sony fans, yes, the Sony ponies have been. <clears throat> Yo, I'm down bad, bro. <clears throat> <laughs> So as they scrape the internet for any bad news, they think that they struck gold by seeing the article today that Microsoft sales has dropped in Europe and they're expecting the Microsoft fans to cry. <laughs> <laughs> So these ponies think that it is bad news, but we'll show how that is it's not really a big deal that Microsoft is down uh, in Europe. We'll also see how Game Pass is doing uh, so much for developers. You know, Game Pass is really the best deal, not only for consumers, but also for developers. And we will see how Call of Duty is breaking all sorts of records, um, although the bias media would have given it um, being the worst Call of Duty ever. So let's talk about it. This is a sickness! Let's get it. I recall Sony fans saying that Game Pass destroys gaming. Game Pass devalues the, the third party developers. Game Pass is no good for the industry. You know, persons who use Game Pass don't spend any money. Well, new stats came out concerning Game Pass and you just might be shocked. Please take a look at what Binge Sales is saying about Game Pass. So according to Binge Sales, Game Pass stats from Microsoft at GDC. Subscribers play 40% more games after joining. Games on average see 8.3 uh, lift in players. Day one launches see 3.5 lift uh, in players. For large publishers, in these 15 times, subscribers spend 50% more. In this, see triple digits revenue growth. So it's clear Game Pass is doing wonders for the gaming industry. It's doing good for you know the major third-party developers. They seen everything is seen growth when their games come to Game Pass, and it is even doing more for the indie developers who put their games on Game Pass. This is not even included that Microsoft is paying these publishers and paying these studios to put their game into Game Pass. Um, there was also a narrative saying that persons who have Game Pass don't spend money. Well, according to this stats here, subscribers spend 50% more those who are subscribed to Game Pass. So it's very clear that Game Pass is something that the industry needed um, and it's doing well, both for first party and for third party publishers. So what you think about this uh, new stats came out here for Game Pass? Let me know in the comment sections below. Let's talk Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. When this game was released and the reviewers got their hands on it, they said that this was the worst campaign ever. Even when it is they got the multiplayer, they also reviewed the multiplayer, um, you know, bad as well. So for the campaign, they said it was too short, they didn't put enough effort into it. And for the multiplayer, they said it's all maps and, you know, that really broke the experience for them so the critics were saying call of duty modern warfare was the worst well it just so happened that the fans um, at modern world zone put out uh, a survey as to which call of duty multiplayer um, game is the best in the last four the options was black ops cold war or vanguard modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 and the decision was unanimous Modern Warfare 3 was the best multiplayer Call of Duty game out of the previous four. Now, this is where things got sketchy because although the critics are saying that you know, this is the worst game, we are seeing that the fans are saying something different. Now, Modern War Zone went on to say this, that after 46,000 votes, the Call of Duty community has selected Modern Warfare 3 as the best multiplayer COD game out of the last four entries so yes modern warfare 3 got 45 percent out of every other 
uh, Call of Duty. Well, in the last four entries. Now, notice again what they said. Modern Warzone said this. Modern Warfare 3 is the best card multiplayer we have had in years. But somehow, it's also the worst reviewed Call of Duty game of all time. I don't understand it. Especially when you compare scores to some of the other games like Vanguard. Do you think the reviewers, the reviews are deserved? Like these people here at Modern Warfare did not hear Larry Herb. Not getting the credit you deserve this generation. We never will. Yeah. Generation. We never will. Yeah. You know, we've seen this. You know, we've seen this. It's like we, we know that there's a different yardstick for the different developers. Right. It's like we, we know that there's a different yardstick for the different developers. Right. I, you know, the Nintendo guys are great. They, you know, I've got my Switch right here in case I want to play Fortnite. Yep. 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 Um, so, I mean, those guys are great. I talked to Reggie the other day. The guys over at PlayStation, they're doing a great, they're executing. They've had tremendous success this, right. this time around. But, uh, you know, it's funny with, with us, I think it's maybe because, I, I don't know. So yeah. I think people like, oh, I hate Windows because I have to use it at work or I'm doing email or I don't want to do this PowerPoint for work. So I, I don't know if some of that anxiety and, and, and whatnot drifts over to Xbox, but you know, we just want to do the best we can. The only thing that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 did wrong was to be acquired by Xbox. Because of that, you are automatically going to, uh, you know, get a few scores down on your Metacritic when it comes to these games. But nonetheless, we see the Activision team put out a card at the same thank you more hours per players overall than um, nw 2019 and modern warfare 2 um mwz is the most engaged third party in nw history and camping players putting in more time per player in modern war warfare 3 than previous installments so yes this game is doing well when it comes to player engagement when it comes to putting in time in the game. So we are seeing a little difference there from what reviewers are saying compared to what the fans are saying and what they are actually doing, putting in the hours in Modern Warfare. So let me hear what you think about Modern Warfare. Um, do you think that it is a good game or do you think that they should have put in more work into Modern Warfare 3? Let me know in the comment sections below. Next up, we have the best the Sony community could scrape up on the internet to see if they can get a W, is that Microsoft is down 52% in Europe when it comes to console sales. And because of that, you know, these Sony fans are dancing. <laughs> Even IGN is getting in, in the fun. Look at this title. Xbox Series X and X sales have collapsed in the Europe. <laughs> so yes, both the BIOS media and the Sony and Sony fans are making this a very big deal. Let me give you some reasons why this isn't a big deal. Number one, when it comes to Europe um, in the gaming market, Europe is not number one, they're not number two, they're not even number four. They are number six. Tell me, so to the parents watching this video, do you remember your sixth child? I guarantee you, you don't. You don't even remember that guy's name. <laughs> and a matter of fact, you don't even have a sixth child. That's to show how insignificant number six is. Did, uh, let me ask you this question again. Could you remember the sixth time you ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> you can't even remember the third time you did it. That is to show how insignificant number six is. So let's be fair. Although in Europe, the gaming community there is very healthy. In Europe, it will neither make or break a platform or a console. Let's face it, they are number six. It's a great country. I have a lot of persons from Europe watching the channel, but let's be honest. Europe who cannot make or break a console. The US could do that. Japan could do that. China could do that. Right? So that's the number one reason why this isn't a big deal. Now, reason number two. 
all the European countries was not counted. When um, gaming industry did their tally, they did not include all the sales of all the European countries. So no doubt that would have shift the numbers um, you know, for Microsoft. Um, in addition to that, we also learned this. And this article is from Pure Xbox. As for the PlayStation 5 major sales increase, this is apparently due to the significantly larger batch of stock being available in October 2023 compared to October 2022. In fact, if you look back in 2022 as the as a whole, Xbox was the only platform to boost improved console sales in Europe compared to 2021. So yes, if they are comparing what PlayStation 5 did in 2022 to 2023, it is obvious that they would have seen a major boost because in 2022, they did not have enough stock of the PlayStation 5. Because if the PlayStation 5 sold as well as it did in 2022, obviously PlayStation percentage increase would not have been a hundred and something percent. So that is the reason number two. They had significantly less consoles in 2022 and now they have a, a huge stock. So we could see when compared to 2022, the sales would be up. The third reason as to why this isn't a big deal, you silly ponies, is Microsoft said it. Phil Spencer and all the executives said that their goal is to uh, make sure persons play anywhere, whether it be on tablets, on phones, on uh, PCs, and on consoles. Microsoft Focus is not the console exclusively. Now, if Microsoft uh, Focus was the console exclusively and yet they saw this type of fall, then we might say, okay, we, we might have a, a problem. But it's very clear, Microsoft uh, Focus is not the console. It is being able to play Game Pass on many devices as much as possible. You know, that console selling could make or break a generation is is based on the old model you see there's a lot of dinosaurs in this gaming industry and they think that a console uh you know you would win a generation based on how many consoles are sold well at the end of the generation you would see how different the whole gaming landscape would have changed today console sales does not dictate uh, how well a platform does you will see that clear at the end of the generation. But let me hear what you think about all of this information. Do you think that no man, you're capping, you're coping? Island Gamer with J, you're coping. This is a coping video. Let me know what you think <laughs> in the comment sections below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.